Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your home for instructional videos and tabs for mandolin, guitar, banjo, I've got it all. We are going to do an in-depth and intense study on the G major scale. Everything you ever wanted to know about the G major scale, we're gonna cover in this video lesson. And not only are we just going to cover a G major scale, but we're gonna talk about what makes a major scale, okay? Because all these major scales, whether it be G or A or E flat, they all have something in common that makes them a major scale. And that's something that's very pertinent for you to know as a musician. So we're gonna break that down. What's a major scale? How do we play our G major scale? All kinds of different ways. Then we're gonna build uh, some speed exercises based around this G scale that's gonna help you learn how to get around the fingerboard, down low and up high. That lick that I played there at the very beginning, that's a lick based out of the G scale. Those were all notes in the G major scale. So it's important that you know this stuff. So let's dive in. First thing I'd like for you Gold Pick members to do is jump over on the side of the site there and click on mandolin tabs and download the tab for this uh, G major scale study. Okay, I offer tabs in two different file formats, PDF and the TIFF file format. When you're watching the video with me, it might be easier to grab the PDF file and print it out. That way you can have it laying there beside you and it's not taking up part of your computer screen there. But what is a, what is a G major scale? What is a major scale? Have you ever thought about that? What is even a scale? Okay, I'm going to really break this down. A scale is simply an arrangement of notes in an order that accomplishes a certain thing, okay? It generally ascends, goes up, and then when you come down a scale, you would descend down a scale. Now there's all sorts of different scales out there that I'm sure a lot of you have heard the names of. You've got your minor scales, you've got pentatonic scales, your blues scale, and then you've got just major scale, okay? Our major scale is perhaps the most important because it's the basis for all the rest of these. And when we understand exactly what a major scale is, we can then manipulate that major scale to make whatever other scale we want to. And all this stuff that seems so complicated now makes perfect sense to us, okay? So let's break it all the way down. What's included in a major scale? Well, a major scale has seven notes in it. Did you know that? If you start on one note and you go up a major scale playing up you will play seven notes before you'll start over again. You will hit your root note again. At that point, you can turn around and come back down, or you can continue to go up. Now, that original note that you started out on and the note that's seven notes past that above it, those are technically the same note, but they're what's called an octave apart. Let me give you an example of that. Here's our G string, right? The bottom uh, string on our mandolin is a G string. That's a G note, same note that would be uh, right below, four notes below the middle C on a piano, that G note. Now, if we were to play up through the major scale, we would eventually get to another G note. And that is one octave. That's also a G, but that's a G that's an octave above our original starting G. Can you hear that? You hear how they're the same note, however they're different octaves. Now what about this? What if I switched my left hand down one fret? That is not an octave. It's pretty obvious to our ears that that's not an octave. That's an octave. We can find another octave above that. That's yet another octave. Here we have three octaves of G on the mandolin. And those octave notes are connected by a major scale. And that major scale has a very definite um, pattern, okay, that can be applied to any of your major scales. And let's talk about that. First, we have our root note, which in this case, since we're studying the uh, G major scale, is going to be a G note, and we're going to use our open G string to start that. Then the next note would be an A note. It would be one whole step above our root note. Now, which, how much um, are these frets worth on your mandolin? Okay, if, 
one fret, how much is that worth? That is worth, I don't know if worth is the right word, but it is one half step. Each fret equals one half step. Okay, so if I tell you that a major scale, um, you have your root note and then you have a whole note above that, if I just went up one fret, that would be a half step, but we want a whole step, so we're gonna go up two frets, and that would be an A note. Okay, so we know our first two notes of a G major scale. Our open root, and then our second fret, gives us our second note of the G major scale. Now the third note of a major scale is easy too because we'll simply go up one more whole step. So what do we what did we learn to do to go up a whole step? We skip a fret and go to the next one. So that means the fourth fret down here gives us our third note of the major scale. Okay? So um, we've got a root and then a whole step and then another whole step. Now to get our fourth note of the G major scale, we're going to have to change our pattern just a little bit. Instead of going a whole step, we're now going to uh, ascend a half step. And we know that each one of these frets gives us a half step, so what would that mean? If we're on our fourth fret here and we need a half step, we just go up one fret to our fifth fret. All right, so now we have our first four notes of the major scale starting on G. G, A, B, C. All right, guys, we've covered the first four notes of our major scale, starting on this open G string. We know to go up one whole step to get our second note, the second fret. We know to go up one more whole step to get our third note. Then we know to go up a half step, one fret, to get our fourth note. Okay, so there's our four notes. Now, the next interval in a, in a major scale would be now switching back to a whole step interval. Okay, so if we're on our fifth fret here and we want another whole step up, where would we go? That's right, we'd go two frets above that. However, I want you to pay attention to something. Our second string on our mandolin is a D string. Does that pitch sound familiar to you? That's right. You see, the seventh fret on our G string it has the same note as our open second string, which is our D string. D note, D string. So at that point, we don't have to continue when we're playing our scale to go like this and keep sliding up. We can do that, but instead what we're going to do is just jump to the next string and start the pattern there. So that's our first five notes of the major scale. All right. Now once we get there, we're on our fifth note of the major scale. We want our sixth note. We only have two left, right? Because there's seven. We need another whole step. Okay, so if we have our open D string and we need a whole step, what did we learn that we had to do? Go up two frets. That's right. Now once we're here, we continue that whole step pattern. So another whole step would take us up to the fourth fret. Now we're at the seventh note of our scale, and we're about to start over again with our root note, only this time we're up one octave, right? So that means we are just going to need a half step to finish that out, one fret. And look at there. There's our octave G notes that we're looking for. So right there on your tab, I want you to follow along with me on measure one, and we're going to play um, this G major scale going up and coming back down. I'm going to turn on the metronome and let's uh, let's play up and down that. Then we'll introduce another octave to that scale and then we'll introduce how to play this scale up the neck. And then we'll build some speed exercises to really get a harness on this G major scale. <laughs> 